that just made me feel like I could be special. And if I keep working, I could maybe go to the league someday. Most people don't give a lending hand. They give up on them. I don't want to give up on them. I want to show them that there is more to life. There's more to this world than just basketball. Robert Dillingham committed to University of Kentucky. Look at that it's not just you coming and playing basketball here. It's you learning the role, learning to be a better overall person while being the best player you can be. Very few prospects have seen their stock rise more than Rob Dillingham in the past year heading into the 2024 NBA Draft. Although undersized, he flashes an insane handle with very impressive speed and athleticism. And throughout his freshman year at Kentucky, Rob has given us a taste of what his ceiling really is at the NBA level. But is he actually worthy of all the hype? Let's break it down. Rob Dillingham came out of an absolutely stacked 2023 Kentucky recruiting class. And even while being a consensus five-star recruit and the number 15th ranked player in the class, there were still three incoming Kentucky recruits ranked higher than him, with Justin Edwards, DJ Wagner, and Aaron Bradshaw all being ranked higher than Rob. But even with the Wildcats' loaded class that would all be fighting for playing time, many of them made a tremendous impact so far. In fact, Rob Dillingham, along with Justin Edwards, DJ Wagner, and Reed Shepard, have all played a key role on this Kentucky team, being four of the team's top six scorers. And while Rob may not have been the top recruit from Kentucky's 2023 haul, there was absolutely no question that he would find a way to make an impact for the team on day one. But before balling out at Kentucky, Rob had already made a case to be one of the most skilled and electrifying prospects in his class. In high school, he emerged as one of the top players in his class by his sophomore season for Combine Academy in North Carolina. As a sophomore, he averaged 21.2 points, 4.9 assists, 4.1 rebounds, and 2.1 steals per game, leading his team to a 29-3 record and a state title. It resulted in him winning the Player of the Year before transferring to Donda Academy, a school founded by Kanye West. Rob was already a big name early on, and he even led the United States to a gold medal at the 2021 FIBA Under-16 Americas Championship in Mexico, where he won the MVP after averaging 15.7 points, 6.2 assists, and 3.2 steals per game. And on June 24, 2022, he committed to Kentucky over the offers of Louisville, Auburn, and USC. He had initially committed to NC State, but later reevaluated his options and it led to a decommitment. By opening up his recruitment process and later committing to Kentucky, Rob became Kentucky's second commit in the 2023 recruiting class. And in his senior season, he took his talents to overtime elite and left Donda Academy following the turmoil that Kanye West was in at the time. He had a solid senior season with the Cold Hearts and Overtime Elite, averaging 14.7 points, 4.9 assists, and 3.5 rebounds per game. Considering what he left behind at Donda Academy, Rob could not have hoped for a better last-minute backup plan to complete his senior year of high school. His game was developing and maturing a lot in his OTE season, and OTE was a big reason for that growth as the program put him in more of a professional setting. He improved his shooting, especially from deep, as his confidence shooting behind the arc improved as well. When he later joined Kentucky for the 2023-2024 college season, a lot of eyes were certainly on him to see if he was truly NBA material or not. Despite coming in undersized, there was no question that Rob performed well beyond expectations in his first few games in college, and may just be the next in line of elite Wildcat guards to become all-star level NBA guards. So we know the hype was there, but at 6'2", maybe 6'3", he initially wasn't thought of to be one of the premier prospects coming into the 2024 NBA Draft. But in just a few short games with Kentucky, he quickly proved doubters wrong. 
Through his first six games with the Wildcats, Rob averaged 16 points, 5.2 assists, 4.3 rebounds, and 1.5 steals, while shooting 54% from the field, 50% from three, and 75% from the line. And he did all this in just over 23 minutes per game. And not only do the stats speak for themselves, he passes the eye test, too. Rob has a smooth game, and his coordination, burst, and decisiveness are all strong parts of his game. He's an extremely shifty bucket getter that scores in bunches and has excellent body control when driving through the paint. He's able to slip between defenders and attack the rim with force, despite traffic and congestion in the paint. He doesn't need much room to get off a shot either, due to the fact players struggle to crowd him because of his ability to drive. And beyond his elite-level handle and high-level finishing at the rim, he has an improving jumper and is slowly becoming a better passer as well. In terms of shot creation in the half-court, he has an excellent spot-up jumper and is one of the best pick-and-roll ball handlers in college. The track record for undersized guards in the draft isn't a notable one, to say the least. But that's not to say that there aren't players in that category that weren't drafted. Take a look at Kyrie Irving, for example, one of the best guards in the NBA that has similar size to Rob and has an elite handle and incredible finishing at the rim. So if the right amount of feel, high basketball IQ, and shot making is there, the path to the NBA will surely reveal itself, especially for a talent like Rob. Rob has certainly answered those questions about his size. He's a prolific scorer, one of Kentucky's best both from inside or outside the arc, and his size has hardly mattered in that regard. But Rob is not just a scorer and a volume shooter. See, despite his reputation of being score first, especially after his showing at Overtime Elite, Rob is making waves as a passer, being second on Kentucky's roster in assists for that reason. He's lightning quick, possesses a speedy first step that allows him to drive to the rim and either find shooters on the wing or give his big man a look on the block. In 31 games so far this season, Rob is averaging 15.4 points, 3.9 assists, and 2.8 rebounds while playing just 23.1 minutes per game. Overall, he's shooting 48% from the field and is only getting better. And although the stats may not scream superstar, he has had his fair share of big performances in his freshman season. In a game against Missouri in early January 2024, he scored 23 points, which he only did 14 games into the season. This game was another reason why Rob is one of the most exciting players in college basketball this season. His high point was probably hitting a three from almost 30 feet that put Kentucky up 14, their largest lead until the game's final minute. When he went to the bench for the final time in the first half, he scored 11 points in just 8 minutes. Rob ended up with 23 points in just 19 minutes. It was his best scoring output at the time, and yet he did it by tying a season low with just 7 field goal attempts. And out of those 7 field goal attempts, he made 6 of those. He even made all 3 of his 3-point attempts, and went 8 of 10 from the line. Even in limited minutes, this game really showed how efficient Rob can be. And just over a month later, Rob broke his career high again by scoring 35 points against Tennessee. Although Kentucky lost this game, the only reason they were even in this game was because of Rob's incredible performance. His 35 points came on 14 for 20 shooting while shooting 6 for 8 from 3. His style of play makes it clear that he has star potential at the next level and has been a big reason why Kentucky landed a top three seed this year in March Madness. He has slowly grown to be a big part of this Kentucky team and is currently second on the team in points, assists, and steals. What's most impressive about Rob's game is how well he finishes around the rim and his fearlessness to attack and finish through contact. But despite all his offensive talents, other parts of Rob's game might be questioned a bit. He does lead Kentucky in both turnovers and turnovers per minute. And as one NBA scout directly put it, Dillingham sometimes catches teammates off guard with passes when he gets caught in awkward positions and has to force a pass to avoid a turnover. His defense will always be questioned because of his size, but beyond that, Another NBA scout sees decision-making as a potential weakness at the next level, saying, 
He will attempt to dribble into traffic and can lose the ball against players with active hands, plays with the ball a little bit too much at times. His impact in other aspects of his game is generally not seen to be anywhere as polished as his scoring ability. But even still, while some NBA teams might see some holes in his game currently, many NBA teams will be excited to draft a quick, athletic, and shifty guard who already is a fantastic scorer. His offensive skill set and ability to score in bunches make him a valuable prospect. He will likely be a team play type scorer in the NBA who can also play the role of a distributor. He can beat defenders off the dribble, create shots for himself and for others, and can also be an excellent spot-up shooter. This will allow him to play within many different systems and alongside many different types of players. For now, Rob Stock will continue to grow, and aside from waiting for his defense to improve, he's made his case to be a top 10 pick and capable of going even higher come draft day. If NBA teams look to draft Rob based on Kentucky's track record of producing elite-level guards, it's a pretty safe bet to make. Shea Gilgis Alexander, Devin Booker, Jamal Murray, and Tyrese Maxey are all all-star level guards that came from Kentucky. In fact, Kentucky has produced the most amount of NBA guards since 2012. But does Rob Dillingham have the same upside of these elite level NBA guards? Can Rob Dillingham make an impact in the NBA like these previous Kentucky alumni? Let us know in the comments below.